So not only can some men not be trusted in a funeral home, and some men can't be trusted around people in a coma, now you're telling me even turkeys aren't safe? Happy Thanksgiving, guys. How you are doing? We're in December now. Like, how was your Thanksgiving? Do you celebrate Thanksgiving? Let me know down in the comment section. But anyway, guys, hey, beautiful people, how you are doing today? It's your girl, Destiny, here, and welcome to my channel. How you are doing? Hope you guys are doing great. This video is about turkey, and this video will gross you out. Trigger warning. Mm -mm. So let me know, did you eat turkey this... Um, Thanksgiving did you what turkey did you eat because apparently word not apparently apparently it has been showed and investigated that some of this turkey have been s8 by men you heard that correctly some of this turkey have been s8 by the men that is supposed to be wearing this turkey taking care of the turkey unplugging the turkey to get to the store some of these men are uh, uh, essay in this talk so what happened is that there's a documentary that's been going on for a couple of days and sorry guys i'm bringing this after thanksgiving so if you've eaten turkey i'm sorry i'm sorry okay so some of this um there was this documentary that came out of an undercover um person went to the factory where this turkey was being um done fa turkey factory and find out that turkey had been essayed by men before it even gets to us, both alive and non-alive. And this has strike a big conversation, okay, that has gotten people talking. Mm -hmm. Anyway, guys, let's go check out a clip of this documentary and then we'll come back and talk. One guy shackled turkey one day and another time, another worker was putting his fingers in a turkey's cloaca, which is basically her, while the line was stopped. Some workers even bragged about their abuse. When people go to the grocery store and they see butterball or other turkeys all wrapped up in plastic, they just don't know what happens to the birds before they end up in the meat case. I mean, how could they? These dark plants are kept away from main roads and certainly not shown on TV. I went into this butterball house of horrors to show people what the company never will. If even one person sees this video and stops eating birds, it'll be worth it. The men are essaying the turkeys. The workers at a butterball turkey plant were caught essaying, the, like full-blown essaying the turkeys. These men were caught on video putting their thinglings inside of the turkeys vajayjay before the turkeys were. Other men at this meat processing facility were caught putting their inside of the turkeys other men were violently the turkey on them until they were on un the same men will stop the entire production line like the conveyor belt that has like all the turkeys they will stop that so let me know what you think about what you just saw now how did you feel were you making the faces i was making because that's gross this video has gotten a lot of people talking so we're going to get into it but let me know what you think about it so far go down and share your thought okay i really like i really want to take learn like i really want to have your take on this one and let me know did you eat turkey because at this point i think everybody just needs to go vegan at this point anyway guys let's go check out people's response to this and then i'll come back and share more of my thought but yeah let's go check it out now let so by now we all know turkeys. We know this now. Um, but the videos I keep seeing are people saying how they're not gonna eat the turkey at Thanksgiving. Uh, that's not my problem. My problem is that I already did. I already did. I ate I I ate those a couple weeks ago those turkeys, Ew. those same turkeys, the butterball turkeys were on super sale on Amazon Fresh. My husband buys the turkeys, a couple of them, says he's going to practice for Thanksgiving because he wants to smoke a turkey, he's never done it before. Fine. Brings it to a friend's house, everybody eats it. Everybody ate it. These turkeys were on super sale. And so I'm just, not only am I concerned that I ate a diddled turkey, I'm also like, this is sinister. 
Did you mm-hmm. put those turkeys, the Butterball turkeys, on super sale because you knew some bad press was coming out that because you guys regularly diddle the turkeys? You're touching on the turkeys, assaulting the turkeys regularly. And you weren't going to be able to get rid of them. So not only can some men not be trusted in a funeral home and some men can't be trusted around people in a coma. Now you're telling me even turkeys aren't safe. These are the same men that fought tooth and nail, throwing up crying, sliding down the wall. How dare y'all pick a bear over us? You know, I wish y'all would run into a bear in the woods. Meanwhile, you all are pleasuring turkeys when they are alive and when they are deceased. You get mad at women who are opting for the 4B lifestyle and you say that they're the reason for the loneliness epidemic as if you have not heard the same stories that we've heard. As if you don't watch the same news that we watch. As if you don't, haven't heard the same reports that we've watched. Like, you have no idea what it's like to be a woman and who wants one of you, but she's not sure which one of you she's going to get. Because I'm sure some of these factory workers who were doing this kind of thing went home to families after this, mm-hmm. went home to wives after this. These men literally took advantage of the most vulnerable among us and they still believe deep down in their heart that they deserve love and they deserve a woman. (laughs) These people out here turkeys, y'all. So now everybody bringing their turkeys back because these workers out here essaying turkeys. Men are disgusting. Do you hear me? Y'all are some disgusting set of creatures you guys can't even keep your stuff in your pants around animals around animals not even the turkeys are safe and you see why women chose the bear because not even turkeys are safe around y'all mm-hmm. this is why i will forever choose the bear i will forever forever chose the bear because not even turkeys are safe around y'all so if y'all out here turkeys i could only imagine if some of y'all have dogs at home what y'all doing to those dogs or to those cats because if y'all can look at freaking turkey mm-hmm. and get shaken up by a freaking turkey Y'all definitely doing it to the dogs and the cats at home for real. Nope. Y'all some sick mother. Y'all sick. Mm-hmm. Y'all are really sick and disgusting. The men are essaying the turkeys. <laughs> If you have not heard, Butterball Turkey is on recall, but ironically, the name strikes a bell. (laughs) Not to mention, stores still have it up, selling it, trying to get rid of all these Butterballs. Allegedly, even though there's videos surfacing, we're still going to say that. There were men sticking their dinglings inside the turkey holes. Yes, busting all the juices in the turkey. So if you thought your turkey was juicy, honey, you might just got a butter bowl. <laughs> Thank the Lord I don't celebrate Thanksgiving because I didn't avoid it. a lot of butter bowl turkeys. <laughs> and the men are like, we're going to get it in somehow. Y'all, y'all not giving enough. Good job, ladies. Good job. Good job. My ladies keeping their leg closed. Men out here. Turkeys. You got to buy from forms. Matter of fact, everybody should have their own form because... Or like use this time to be nice to your jobs that are really mean to you and just like y'all might be having a Thanksgiving party. Like you just wanna be kind and you know, bake them a butterball turkey. They ain't gonna know it's from butterball um, don't do it. Don't just imagine like how long y'all been eating butterball turkeys. He was putting his fingers in the turkey's cloaca, which is basically yeah. That's <sighs> mm-hmm. 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 Are men okay? Are men okay? So basically, some men who worked in a turkey factory, yes, turkey as in, you know, the bird that you roast at Christmas, 
they were caught on camera essaying turkeys sticking their bits into turkeys some some alive is there no end is there no bottom i don't think so <laughs> that's just one of the vilest things i've heard vile i don't even know why i'm so shocked why am i so shocked <sighs> turkey one day and another time another worker was putting his fingers in a turkey's cloaca which is basically her while the line was stopped are you me there is absolutely nothing that a male can do at this point that would surprise me my jaw didn't move when i heard the story because i was just like yeah of course men are assaulting turkeys at the butterball turkey factory <laughs> obviously it's 2024 that's what they do but like this idea that they knew that these turkeys would end up on some family's plate and they put their private parts into this thing, and that is gonna end up on an unsuspecting family's plate. What? The fact that there's no real legislation that regulates these farming practices in order to ensure the animal has a respectable life is just beyond me. The, the, this is like, you should end up in jail. These workers, I guarantee, we're not even gonna get an update on where they end up. They're probably going get, to get away scot-free for this. Anyways, this was the Butterball Turkey Factory. So if you happen to buy a turkey this year for any reason, just do not buy it from them. And if you can, try to get these things, especially your meats, locally. My name is Mercedes Chandler. Give me a follow or you won't see my face again. Thanks. Bye. Oh my god, men are essaying the turkeys. Like, what are we going to do? Y'all are surprised? Y'all are surprised at this point that men are essaying innocent animals. We've known for a long time that shepherds have had these kinds of relationships with their flocks of sheep. We've known for a long time that men will essay a That's why they prefer not to hire them in funeral homes. We have known for a long time that men will essay an unconscious person. There's been stories of men animals for as long as men have existed alongside animals. Like it's in the Bible that you shouldn't do that. I just want to tell y'all because mind you stories like this usually get buried they're not good for capitalism it's not good for stories like this to get out so there's stories like this that have been buried time and time and time and time and time again the fact that we have any of them is just a testament to just how many men are out here doing these things that's what you need to be aware of before you go on a date with some random guy before you give some weirdo guy a chance you need to know there's a pretty high chance that he has done something questionable like that because once again if we just extrapolate the data right and we we think okay there's been an alarming number of these stories that men saying animals doing all sorts of unsavory things to creatures that cannot protect themselves let alone to their fellow human beings let alone to okay once again those stories have been buried time and time and time again those stories have not been allowed to see the light of day time and time again these stories get out despite the fact that so many other stories have been suppressed and you need to realize that there's a pretty good chance okay that if you don't vet the men that you date and sleep with and pass over almost all of them right like it's going to be like 99 percent of them you're going to have to pass over the moment they show any weirdness simply because you should stay away from them and again you just need to realize that there's a lot more of them out there that have done these kinds of things than you could even imagine you need to think about that real hard next time you give a guy your number you need to understand that stories like this get into the news when it's like out of control and you need to understand how many stories like this don't get into the news and it's just happening it's just happening and nobody knows about it other than these men and these animals again if y'all think this is like the first year it's happened it's just the first time it's been caught okay it's not this isn't the first time it's happened okay the men did not just randomly decide this year this is the year we're gonna turkeys no they've been doing this 
In fact, there's probably a whole operation. In fact, they're probably covering up for each other. Saying, no, that's not what it looked like. You know, we were just trying to... Whatever kind of weird shit they're saying, they're going to have each other's back. So you need to remember that men are very rarely held accountable for actions like this. And so when you do see them being held accountable, that means a lot has happened that you don't know about. That is just the best reason that I can give you to stay really, really, really picky. Stay on your vetting game. Note their weird habits. Watch for any weird behavior towards little kids, animals, anything like that. Because I'm telling you, the depravity exists on a level that you truly can't comprehend. Like the fact that stories like this are getting out is just the tip of the iceberg. It's literally just the tip of the iceberg. The fact that we know about so many men who will children, that's an epidemic. You y'all really think like animals were somehow out of the question? Absolutely not. I mean that monitor lizard from the summer. Men have absolutely been allowed to get away with so much. So much. And this honestly happens whenever there's an excess of men because most men will not be viable for most women to mate with, especially when you include in that number the amount of women who don't want to mate for life or who don't want to have children or who don't want to end up with a man long term. Once you include all of those factors, a lot of men, they are excess. And instead of like finding a way to make themselves useful in society, they become destructive. And this is true for basically any population where the males outnumber the females. And that's why you don't see a lot of that in nature because males, when they start to become in too great of numbers, they cause chaos. They start hurting others just for the fun. They start they start they start pillaging, they start gangs, they start all sorts of conflict, they participate in criminal activity. They are not good for society. Whereas women, you can have an excess of as many women as you want and they're not going to be harmful to society. That's the reason, by the way, ladies, that they keep these stories buried is because they don't want you to know that. But I do. So do without what you will. Stay safe out there. Godspeed. Ciao. Ciao. Let me know what you think about this video down in the comment section. But please, as always, keep it respectful. You're on this channel, we're allowed to disagree, but we do it in a respectful way. We're here to have conversations, so please keep it respectful. But yeah, like let, me, like, let me know what you think about it. Because this is one of the most disgusting things I've ever come across on the internet. And to even see that I was watching it, the honest truth is that this video was a blind reaction because I didn't see this video. My niece actually sent it to me. And I'm like, okay, fine, let's do it. And just hearing it, that this is one of the most disgusting things. But why are we even surprised? This is why we keep having this conversation over and over again. For women to just remain and keep their standard up because some of the men out there, they are the most disgusting things out there that are going to infect you with a lot of the, A lot of them, people are talking about how the turkey was being demonized, which is like the most disgusting thing. Why would you even do that to a turkey? But we're not talking about animals, whether we like it or not. Animals, the type of disease that comes from both animals, dead people. We know some men do even dead people. There's a name for it. I can't remember the name. But to think that some type of disease can be transferred and some of these men, they have wives, they have partner back at uh, home and they're going to put that dingling dingling back into that thing and cause some type of... On, like, that's the most disgusting shit ever. And then you'll be going to the hospital testing testing for a regular, normal STDs or any type of disease. And you, they'll tell you, clean, 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 while you're already infected with something else. That was the first thing that came to my mind while I was watching. That was the most disgusting thing. And this is why, ladies, like, this is why I will keep and I will always keep preaching that. Keep your standard, stand on your grand stand on business. Know exactly what you want. And one thing is that when you are a woman that you're very self-aware, you're very intentional about the type of men you want into your life, your pool becomes small. Sometimes it bothers a lot of women when they don't get approached by a lot of guys. They feel like they are not attractive. That does not mean you're not attractive. That just means that your standard and what you want is really how you are. And that's you featuring all the madness out there. Because clearly it's like there's madness going on there. Because why would you even do that to a turkey? Let me know. Did you eat? Did you eat turkey this Thanksgiving? Let me know down because and did you eat the butter uh, ball turkey? Because that would be disgusting.
And I think that some of this turkey, some of the juice in the turkey that people like, this is the most disgusting thing. I know I might chuckle and laugh and gross and do all sort of things, but I have mixed up emotion because it's the most disgusting thing. But this just shows that some men who put their dingling dingling on anything, and this is why the only person you can trust is yourself. And I was having this conversation with a friend, um, couple of days ago i was like look at the entire world I, I like i feel like this world will be a better place without men because i think one of the most disgusting things being done are men and even some people some i know somebody will come like oh but women sleep with animals too da, 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 da. most women that do they do it because in quote a man desire that so it's a man's fantasy they do it to get paid most times are holes that get paid. Those are the women. But a normal woman in a normal state of mind that is doing what she's supposed to do will not do that to herself. And then to not think that, what is even safe around men at this point? What is even safe around men? Because children are not safe. Adult women are not safe around you. Animals are not safe. And even turkey. Because when men as a women, the first thing, especially in my society, in my culture, the first thing they will ask is like, what was she wearing? Why did she, why, why did she go there? Who was she with? Why did, they will be questioning the victim, which is the woman. What did the turkey do here? What did the, the turkey just was just existing and is, the turkey was being essay. I know like the other lady said, it's a thing even here in Nigeria, like I'm not going to call any tribe name, but the the, the the um people that wears um animal and all that is being told that sometimes they sleep with this animal especially the cows the sheep and all that yeah that they do that i heard that as a young girl a long time ago but actually saying that this is not just to just one section of region of people in its country but it's like it's out there in the world that some men do this to animal it's disgusting is disgusting one of the most disgusting things i've ever come across ever ladies just be careful because in the mission of looking for a partner of or being with someone this 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 could be you sleeping with somebody that is living with the talkie you both alive and dead like hey blood my brain is not processing it but anyway let me know your take just be careful don't undermine anything that you do or anything like stand on your ground love yourself put yourself be very intentional it's okay to be alone it's okay to be single so go ahead just love yourself okay love yourself anyway guys please go down in the comment section and share your thoughts love to know what you think about this amazing video share this video with somebody this is the type of video that should be shared so that women will be ringing our heads to be very intentional so go down and share this video okay share this video with someone that you want to be part of the conversation because that's what we do here we have banging conversation so go on and share this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up smash the like button because this helps youtube to push out my content for more people to see and that will be you supporting this channel and this girl here so go on and do that subscribe if you haven't and i will see you guys in my next video deuces <laughs>